What's uh, hey! hey! Welcome uh, uh, to yet another uh, Ramble Radio, motherfucker! Right, right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Also, yeah, yeah, video, yeah. video for the 260, 369 <laughs> 369th time. time. So we're, they've they've met, they've done it, they've met, they've Gosh. boom. The incursion, an incursion, an actual real life incursion. Boom, you've has seen incurred. it here. Just yeah. Oh, and you think it's just you and I for this. Yeah, that's what it's been. Forever. Because it's an incursion. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of the alt-right is back. Cody Viafania, everybody. Hey. Hey, guys. <laughs> bow, 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 the man bow. who, and Cody, we've had some new listeners who think you're just myth. Oh, really? Yeah, they don't even believe you're real. They just, they, they, they don't even think they, they're like, this <laughs> is that a character is they that think a bit alt-right you're Cody is a figment of our imagination. Does it, right. Like, he's our mm. Max. He's our Snuffleupagus. That's who, that's what they think. <laughs> nope, I just, am real. I am here. Can I, before we get started on what we're going to do with this incursion, yeah. can I? <laughs> so today, I had that song, Oh, no, no, I'm once bitten, twice, yeah, just stuck in my oh, head. Oh, great white. Great and I, song. I, dude, great and I song. stupidly went, Dude, whatever happened to those guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I guess time time really does erase everything. That's it. because I was just Would you, whatever. I was like, oh god, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it took a dark turn, huh? It took a real dark turn. The oh man, what, did they have? Did they have any other hits? Dude. Oh god, <laughs> dude, I hope they're still touring. I'd love to see them live. <laughs> I'd love to see them live. <laughs> I think they are still touring. I I'm think there's. They got to there pay for those some... lawsuits somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Those wrongful death lawsuits. Those they got to pay for those somehow. Like Three hundred of them. <laughs> are they still? To I think they're still touring. They are. They oh, are. Oh God. That's... And I, I really think that maybe they should rethink uh, some things based on what I just saw on their website. Oh no. no. Oh. Oh God. So this is. I'm going to show you their tour T-shirt from 2022, and you oh, tell me if this. There, I hope oh, there's not what I real. think there is on it. Oh God, this can't be real. Kit, what is this? Uh, living living on, the edge on the Edge. Is the oh, name of the tour, no. maybe. Oh no. <laughs> so like, if you go see Great White, you're living on the edge. That's. Oh, 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 oh. Well, oh. read the room. At least there's no you... flame. There's no flames on it, which is good. Like, <laughs> That's true. Should read the room that you burned to the ground. <laughs> is that the? Is that what you have to read? Wow. Oh wow. God! Let's see what's going on. They still look good as hell, though. Look you can at see that. In the background. Wait, is is Jack Russell even there anymore? I th I so aren't they one of those bands where they like? There's one like is, two versions. One is touring as Great White, and one is Jack <laughs> Russell's Great White. I think you're is that right? right? <laughs> yeah, I think that. it's like the Peach Boys. <laughs> oh fuck there's oh, two distinct God. camps of great white fans <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine they get into fights like <laughs> they just roll they start they do if you if you're at a fucking dive bar in twin falls idaho you better walk in with the right great white shirt on or now, you're you're in fucking trouble now you guys saw that picture of Great White, right? Yes. That oh, that yeah. picture. Oh, so yeah. here's what Jack uh, Jack Russell's Great White looks like. Oh, and so you there, can is. See, there is. You can too. see that they they look very different. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jack Russell's Great White, yes. yeah. The totally different guys, right? <laughs> what's he wearing there? And what's that green? What is it? What is that? That is. Are they? Cody, can I say something? Mm -hmm. I think it's the same guys. They just don't. <laughs> they just don't tell Jack White, Jack Russell. I think it's the same dudes who just tour with the other guy, and then they secretly go tour with Jack. Now, Russell are they too. both playing Great White's hits, or I does Jack so. Russell play Jack Russell songs, and then <laughs> Great White, the other Great White, plays whatever songs they wrote? I wonder wrote. what they're allowed to do or not. Man, that is like. Who one of them's got to say, hey, at least we didn't burn our fans to the gr like, at least we didn't burn our fans to death. One of them has to talk shit. They have I, fire extinguisher night where they give fire extinguishers to everybody in the crowd. It's just a fuck you to the other great white. <laughs> to the other great white. 
Is there? Can you? Can we get a Jack Russell's Great White T-shirt that just says Jack? Or, I think uh, we could get them yeah. to perform on the Ramble. I, bet we, I think if we if we pull fifteen bucks together, I think we could get them to do a set here. I think it's what we could do. That is, I don't know if we want that, but man, look at wow. that's amazing. That's fucking incredible. So now. Please, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the Ramble. How could you not now? Please subscribe right. to the Ramble. It's much like how there's two great whites, there's two <laughs> there's Rambles. Two and they rambles. need to be, they need to... they need to come together. This is Cody's Ramble. <laughs> it's the Ramble Radio. <laughs> Cody Viafania's Ramble Cody Radio. Cody Viafania's Ramble Radio. And then <laughs> have our, but we just trick Cody and we just still do the other Ramble. Like, that's how it is. <laughs> Cody's like, a, but hey, f- f- subscribe, five star rating, pause the text review. We're now at 141 five star ratings. Nico mm. is still king of the hill for the review, but maybe that changes. Maybe because maybe. maybe whoever did 141, maybe their review, they're still writing it. It's like George R. R. Martin with the next Game of Thrones book. They're just, they can't, it they're just, just perfect editing and editing. <clears throat> they're going to finish, rewriting. they're going to get to it, but just not. Not quite yet. That's it. That's so. There we go. How bad? There, there we are, man. How's everybody been, Cody? I saw Good. Killers of the Flower Moon. Mm-hmm. Good. I really liked it. But Good. here's something that Cody wasn't here for. I have to bring this up. I'm sorry to repeat, mm-hmm. but yeah. I thought one of, um, I thought one of the best scenes in the whole movie is is when Molly's mother passes away, mm-hmm. and you see that weird, like almost spiritual moment where like she's being taken to the other but young guns too already Direct covered that from the oh. Direct rip off. Okay. young guns too oh. when lou diamond phillips character is chavez chavez tells everyone when you die the spirit horse comes to take you and his character as he's as he's dying the last thing you see is this horse galloping toward i'm just saying i i mean did i i i don't know so cody i'm gonna ask you yeah. Should that give it an extra bump for Oscar contention, or should that give it a shot well, down? Would you be shocked to hear that I have I'm not ready. seen Young Guns? <laughs> I would. To see, this is why you need to see it because you would have known that, and you would have uh-huh. stood up and said, "The bullshit! They're ripping off Young Guns too." The balls, right or or is this now in the same universe? Oh, <laughs> well, they're both based on true events. That's what I'm saying. Are they so, both in the same universe now? Is a there shared... a Young Guns 2 averse? Young Guns 2 for Killers of the Flower Moon. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. How They're part of awful the same. would that be if, they, if, if, if Scorsese had one scene where De Niro talks to <laughs> Emilio, what, Emilio Estevez in the old man makeup and just... <laughs> So that's how Young Guns 2 ends. <laughs> Cody is Emilio Estevez, who's like 27 when they shoot this. Mm-hmm. He is in the worst old person make, worse than Winona Ryder <laughs> well, in Edward Scissorhands. Because you've heard, you've, you've heard the old theory that Billy the Kid didn't really wasn't really killed by right. Pat Garrett. He lived to old age, and that's how they that's how they they uh, uh, frame Young Guns too. It's this retelling right. of the story by this old right. man, and at the end, you figure you find out it's you Billy find the out kid. that Pat Garrett couldn't bring himself to kill his best friend. So he just fakes the shooting, lets him go, and then it ends where hey, Emilio Estevez is talking <laughs> like this. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. But where's the scene where they're like, Pat, where's the body? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. He just turned into butterflies and just. Because it's shot and they try to shoot it poetically, Cody. And -hmm. you see Pat Garrett fire the gun and all you see is a pinata explode. (laughs) Because <laughs> there's a there's a fiesta going on outside. Oh. Yes, and you see a pinata explode, and then that's it. And, and then it cuts to like the 30s. And uh, Emilio is diminished. <laughs> I just wish there's one deleted scene in Killers Killers of the Flower Moon where De Niro is talking to old Emilio Estevez in old man makeup. That's just one time. Just that's one it. time. That's all we want. Just one. That's all we're asking for. So what? Now, hey, Cody, I, you. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I just I had something else to follow up on from last week's Ramble yeah. Radios when we were talking uh-huh. about. If I send Cody, if I can text you a picture right now, can you bring it up on screen? Is that possible? I can find a way to do it. Yeah. Uh oh. It'll there take me go. a second, but I can do it. While Eddie's well, doing I, that, I, can, can I just, we? 
Can we yep. roast his his turd brown salute to service hoodie that he has on right now? The, the, is that the turd most brown. comfortable sweatshirt I've ever owned? I don't doubt it. I just I, I, and I love hoodies. There's no way Andrea would murder me if I tried to most wear comfortable that. sweatshirt I've ever owned. And, and if we're on a sinking ship, I'm gonna dress like the turd of the team that we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going down. And I hope you guys hang 70 on us. On things You want Rivera fired and everyone. Well, you that's a, that's Rio. a foregone conclusion at this point. I just don't want any more. There, why, what's the point of winning any more games? All you're doing is hurting your draft at this point. Right. At this there's point, no point in winning any more Because you're not, you probably aren't going to make even a wild card, right? Like, there's no, no. way now. Yeah. Like, they've, well, they've posted new, uh, there's a new, uh, uh, I guess uh, people bet on this type of stuff. They have better odds of getting the number one overall pick. Than actually getting the seventh seed of the wild card. Wow, I have that. Go have for that it. Image Fucking ready. go for it then. How pissed okay. would you so, be? Yeah, if they so fire? lose every. There's no reason to win because you already. Know, you're not coaching for anyone's jobs. All everyone's jobs are gone. Wait a minute. And what if they fire Ron Rivera and hand the keys over to Jack Del Rio? The whole thing. <laughs> That's definitely not happening. <laughs> Old J Six Jack is done in the NFL. I think. <laughs> um. But anyway, the, the photo that I sent Cody, we were talking <laughs> yeah. last week about Ultra Magnus and the Transformers, and I saw this picture recently of all the G1 uh, Autobots from the original cartoon. Why did you Why did you send that to Cody? He's got that's his that's he has it on his left. Bicep. Well, I didn't. I know if Cody wanted to take his shirt off on camera, so <laughs> right? To make but, a comparison. What, I mean, right. Cody? How did your tattoo is pretty much the same, isn't it? Yeah, it's bigger than this, right. but yeah. yeah, a little more vibrant. You and then the the front you have all the G one Autobots, the back you have the G one Decepticons. I right. believe that's yes, that's yeah. Cody went even yeah. deeper. Now, is so right there right a... there in the right there in the yeah. middle where you see Optimus Prime. Yes, you see Optimus Prime. Yep. Look, at, they have Ultra Magnus standing in front of him. Right. That that bothers me as a as a fan of Autobots <laughs> and Optimus Prime. It looks like he's behind him to me. It looks like they're side by side. It looks like he's a little more like, hey, take a he look at me. I'm prominent. Ultra Magnus. He is, he's definitely striking more of a pose. Wow. I just think, I think you need to, I think whoever created this needed to tuck Ultra Magnus way, way in the back, back he, there by Wheeljack or something. No, he should be like in Metroplex's ass. That's where he <laughs> should be. Just half sticking out. <laughs> I just think oh, it's a, it's a poor like representation of where Ultra Magnus is what? lined up with the other Autobots. And here's the thing: Cody has a frame of reference for this. So, you know, we basically <laughs> said that we don't because Cody has seen this movie, and I, mm -hmm. Cody, whether you loved it or didn't, which I don't know why you wouldn't love it, but, but have you seen anyone lose a locker room quicker than Ultra Magnus <laughs> does in that movie? <laughs> Have you seen anybody lose a locker room quicker than Ultra Magnus does? Mm. I I just I don't know. I I haven't. I've never even Jason Garrett. They liked him longer than they did Ultra Magnus. Well, Jason Garrett could clap like nobody's business. He was so there's just right there. He right. knew how to encourage folks. Right, he would just do that. Right. Yeah. You think if Ultra Magnus at that moment, instead of pulling for the uh, the 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 Matrix leadership, had just started clapping? <laughs> Right there. <laughs> that might have helped. Would that have brought the that Autobots have together? Better than what he did. Better than what he did. No question. Absolutely. Because the clap doesn't elicit panic. This is, it, it won't right. open. That's panic. That's panic. This They're is, we got this, guys. We can do what this. Is, what's he doing? What's he doing? So, There's three of them. There's like three also, of them. <laughs> he's had three dudes on him. Prime, you said this would light our darkest hour. <laughs> well, yeah, there's only three guys on you. Um, and so, Cody, mm -hmm. can we talk th about this real quick? How Now, we didn't mention your alma mater before the year started, mm -hmm. but Eddie and I really thought the Buffaloes had a chance. And now it looks like your UTSA Roadrunners have a much better they, – they might get a bowl game. It looks like Dion's out. I don't think Colorado's even going to get to a bowl game, are they? Uh, no, I mean, we're definitely getting a bowl game. I mean, right. Cause you did. won seven games now. Is we're that right? Eight at this point. Eight. There it what, is. what are the Buffaloes at? Five. They were like four and seven. I, I think, think they were, I think they need, I can't, they need like I'm, 18 teams to lose and they have I'm, to win. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Dion and I was loving what I he did. I am and, too. But was there a bigger drop in the media, in the media coverage of, uh, of anything in the <laughs> history of sports? Yeah. 
they officially cannot make a bowl at this point because yeah, they they they're, they're at four wins right now with only one game left. So and right. they were what three and zero, oh? three and uh, oh. yeah, four and zero, so. four and zero. Oh, I think I'll after look. they beat uh, <laughs> Colorado State in that, that overtime and then, game, and then Oregon beat the living shit out of them. So and they've then, only won one game since that Oregon, since that Colorado then, since, State game. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. They that's started right. off three and zero, and then Oregon won, and then the only other team they beat was Arizona State. And that wasn't a that was a close that was by one. Three I think. points. Yeah, that was like that was not an ass whooping. Right? But that he was that was all over. No, no media. one gives a shit anymore. Yeah, yeah it's, it's and no it's and done. like there was no one was, gives a there fuck. was parties. And, there was a list actors on the sideline. The Rock, the Rock, the Rock was, was there. there, and they are and in now nothing dead last in the conference right now. Uh, one in seven. Stanford is at two in seven. <laughs> so, so they've only won one conference game. Wow, and they're playing Utah. Uh, Who's going to beat them again? Yeah. I don't see how. So, how many wins did they have last year? They had one, right? They're I believe three so. Win, they're three wins better. If if a miracle happens, they'll be four wins better, which is probably what everyone should have expected, realistically, being the best case scenario for, for, with Dion's first year. And, and getting the, rid of half your team through the more transfer than half, portal, than I think. I think it was more, 98%. I think they had 90, yeah. Yeah, it was it was insane. this is a basically a brand new football team, a brand new football team. It's yeah. So I think it was kind winning, of amazing. He went three and oh, pretty incredible. And now everyone's saying he's going to bolt for A&M, which I don't I don't see that happening. But I don't I don't know. Uh, I don't know if A&M is the I mean, I know it's the SEC, but I don't know if that's the most glamorous job out there in college It might be a easier to do a quicker turnaround in SEC. You may be able to recruit better. Right. Out in right. The SEC. I mean, I mean, A and M is not all that far removed from being like a really good. They program. were really good. They, I was. Well, you remember that game where Manzel? I mean, he almost single handedly beat Alabama, and that was yeah. They and they got even. I think they got even better after that. But yeah, like. Well, the and there's definitely did, money considering Jimbo Fisher's buyout. God, seventy-seven million to get the to fuck do nothing. Out of it. What, we, be a failure and do nothing. That's we ha, we all got into the wrong jobs. It's <laughs> coaching. Go coach. If you and suck, suck you'll at get it. Millions. Suck <laughs> yeah. at it. You'll get millions to just keep it's, sucking it's and crazy. suck more somewhere. Because some How here's the out thing. of whack everything is. Who's you know what team is going to pay Jimbo Fisher another forty million dollars to come and be their head coach in a year or two? It's going to happen. That guy's and what did he ever do? He won a national title with with at the James time, the greatest Winston, college was, yes, football player, destroying everybody. It's it's not uh, yeah off a program he didn't even build, but Bobby Bowden built. Bobby Bowden built it. He came and took it over. I mean, it's Crazy. dude. That's why you tell me you should. Here's why you should pay fucking players because as good of a coach as you think Dabo Swinney might be, they haven't been shit since Trevor Lawrence left, and they weren't shit yeah. before Trevor Lawrence got there. No. It, it's the players. How is it? Not, how is it not anything? But it's the always players. been the players in college football. Nick except Saban, maybe is... ex, except maybe Tom Osborne at Nebraska running that <laughs> triple option attack <laughs> when you just needed four good running backs and you didn't. And you need were fine. You were fine. I mean, Nick Saban has been smart enough to recruit some of the best trenches guys in the history of college football every yeah. year. It's I, yeah. It's not especially the more. Past happy college football is getting. It's all now about skill players and recruiting. Right. It has nothing to do with scheme anymore. It's not. Right. It's not a scheme uh, league anymore. I mean, Jesus Christ! How they ran the wishbone for like seventy years. Didn't they? That's what I'm saying, <laughs> fucking Tom Osborne I mean, in Nebraska won those back-to-back -back national titles in the '90s, and all they did they, they threw like twice. Twice. It was just, and well, no one yeah. could stop them. We should we should stop talking about this though because I don't want A and M people hearing this podcast and then thinking that coaching doesn't matter so they skip the <laughs> big splash hire and take our coach that just interviewed for the job. <laughs> How devastated! What but what if you guys got Jimbo Fisher, Cody? You gonna, would you talk yourself into that if your guy Call bolts for A and M? Don't, don't think we could afford him. <laughs> he could coach for free and be fine. That's true. I know, Jesus. That I mean, he what, what if he takes UTSA to a playoff? That then his next contract will be insane. So yeah, I, I would coach for free if I were Jimbo Fisher this next year. That's true. Just you get UTSA to the playoffs. Are you <laughs> kidding? They if they if they're if they're next year's T TCU from last year, fuck yeah. Why not? Oh man, that's look at us just covering college mm. football.
Mm, there's mm, two. Mm. We also found out there's two great whites. <laughs> <laughs> there's two great whites. What other podcast talks about both great whites and Tom Osborne <laughs> in the same 20 Tom minutes? Tom Osborne and both great whites. And we just the hit same... the 20-minute mark. And Young Guns we... 2 and the Autobots. And we have 20 even, minutes. We haven't even broken Cody's balls for shitting on Marvels. We haven't even done that yet either. <laughs> we haven't even gotten to Cody hating a not that bad of a, a fun movie. Cody hating on a fun movie. Cody drinking haterade <laughs> throughout the movie. The screening of Marvels. Just chugging haterade. You're going to die on this hill that, that the Marvels is, <laughs> good, is actually good? Yes, we both will. Yes. We both film. will. That was a good movie. All I right. enjoyed it. it. It ain't no fucking Godfather, but it was good. <laughs> You're, is it did, my top 15 Marvel movies? No. The but bar has gotten low for... It's, it's getting lower as we speak. But every movie Marvel can't stuff. be Endgame. Every Marvel no, movie can't, can't they be. Can't. They can't. <clears throat> they can't. I think it was still better than the second Ant Man movie. I think that's. I think that was probably the Marvel movie I gave the least of a shit but, about. But even was the even, second Ant Man. Even at this level of like it was enjoyable, it's definitely in your bottom tier of Marvel movies. It has to be just based on comparison. Objectively, it is like it's okay. I would put it at the top of the bottom half. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, it's at the top of the bottom half. But also, which... what what movies are objectively worse? Like, obviously, Eternals belongs at the bottom of the list, right? I, I really liked it. The more <laughs> okay, well, I see then, it... well, then definitely your list is <laughs> fucked, because if Eternals is, is not at the bottom, what is? The first Thor, the second Ant-Man, for sure the second Ant-Man, I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, I still think you have like the top. Iron Man two. I I loved Iron Man two. No, no, no Iron Man three. Iron Man two is no Iron Man three. I loved. I'm sorry. Iron yeah. Man two is at the bottom. Iron Man three. I loved. I think your top ones are the two. It's the first Joss. The first Joss Whedon Avengers movie is up there. The End Game and Infinity War. All three Captain Americas. Thor Ragnarok. Iron Man, Iron Man 3, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, all three of those are all up there. But that's your thing, though. It's like, it's not like Marvel has just been churning out complete dog shit since Endgame. They have some good ones, and then they have ones that aren't nearly as good, but I still thought Marvel's was enjoy. I thought Marvel's was one of the better ones of, of the recent. I actually did like it better than Eternals. Like, I, I, I didn't hate Eternals like everyone else did, but I did like this one better than Eternals. I think Eternals definitely could have used an editor <laughs> like it could have been eternals right. definitely could have could have could have they, eat, they could have eaten about 30 minutes off that thing yeah and maybe throwing a fine. hip soundtrack on it too uh, yes helped. something well There's they something. opened with pink floyd so that's they what did got open me. with pink floyd that's where i was like all right they did open pink I, floyd. all right i'm in i'm in but um <laughs> it's i thought marvels was definitely better than eternals it was definitely better than the most recent thor movie um I'm trying to think of the newer ones that it was but, better than. But the thing is, even if it, even if you can only list like ten movies that it's better than, it's right. still in the bottom th third. It's... Oh, but that also speaks to how great some of them are, how really fun and good some of the Marvel movies yes. have been. But it's no, hard yeah, to... but I will, I'll give Co it's definitely there. But I still think it's the best one of those. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's the best one of the bottom tier. So I I enjoyed it. I wasn't like God. When's this thing gonna be over? Like I enjoyed it, um, I'm trying, and it's it's still better than anything DC's done. Okay. If in it was the Dallas Cowboys years. running back, and the history of Dallas Cowboys, if it was if the this Marvels was the Dallas Julio Cowboys Jones, running. this is Julius Jones, <laughs> this is Julio Jones, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Marion yeah. Barber, Mary no, it's no, 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 Marion Barber was better. <laughs> Marion uh, Barber was. Better. He's more in the uh, what the Doctor Strange? Yes, realm. Well, yes, Marion Barber's more the Doctor Strange movies. <laughs> This is, I mean, Emmett and Tony Dorsett. That's your, you know. Sure. There's, there's, there. Tony know. Pollard? DeMarco Murray, maybe? Dude, just get DeMarco Murray. DeMar <laughs> well, he led the league in rushing one year. Yeah, fuck didn't yeah, he? he did. Fuck yeah, he did. Can the Marvels lead the league in rushing? I don't know if the Marvels can lead the league in rushing. <laughs> That's okay, the thing. so they're maybe back to 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 so Felix Jones. Jones then. Feel, yeah, Felix Jones. Maybe <laughs> Felix. Jones. Felix Jones. That's a good one. Felix Jones. Felix is a good Jones. 
If if he was a if he was a Dallas Cowboys, okay, back, we'll, we'll do the other Felix one. Joe. What what? Ooh, I think I, I think I actually may have a better. Oh, well, Darren McFadden. Oh, McFadden. <laughs> McFadden. McFadden, solid backup, solid guy you would throw out there. Um, I who was Emmett's backup? That guy was all right too. Sherman Williams, Sherman Williams, oh. Sherman Williams, Sherman Williams. That might Sherman be Williams. who had this end zone celebration. He would do a shimmy and then raise the roof. And, and raise the roof. And then raise the roof. That guy has like three Super Bowl rings. Isn't that amazing? Or at least two. He's at sold least... all three of them. You know that by now. <laughs> to cover house payments and alimony. All right. Well, I'll turn it on you. What What Washington coach is Marvel's? Oh. <laughs> it's not Jim Zorn. Oh, fuck. No. Jim Zorn is. I mean, <laughs> there is no Marvel's movie bad enough to be Jim Zorn. <laughs> You know who I think it is? Can I tell you? It's Norv Turner. You didn't. You didn't win. You didn't win at all. But you were formidable. You were formidable. We won a, during... we won a division title with Norv. Yep. Yeah. See, you didn't. In ninety nine, you didn't climb the mountain all the way. But <laughs> that's tough. Head coaches in Washington since Gibbs. Hmm. Since hmm. Gibbs, hmm. he's not Pettybone. He got. He was one and done. <laughs> he had Norv. Norv, Nor, Nor, he wasn't, I think he might be a little bit better than the Marvels. Norv. Okay, all right, all right. Who do we have after that? Have we, have we had, uh, well, you know, then you had fucking, we had Terry Rubisky as the interim coach. <laughs> He's not for that. a few games. <laughs> That's the, Terry Rubisky was coaching the game that Troy Aikman got retired on. That's right. That hurts. So, that hurts. Just, there's some trivia for you. LeVar Arrington knocked the fuck out of Terry him. Terry Rubisky ended Troy Aikman's run. Did he, do, you think, um, do you think that was how he was going to try to keep his job? Do you think he gave Arrington, like, look, Arrington. He's like, let's get him out. You take him out of this fucking game. Let's be remembered for something. Oh, God, well, there we go. So look look, look at every base we've covered in under half an hour. This is just, you don't get this anywhere else. No. You don't. Um, and sadly, you don't get this anywhere else either, but I wish you did. We do have contractual. Mm. As fun as this has been. <laughs> Um, Skeletor, oh. uh, we were just, uh, comparing, uh, the Marvels to, uh, 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 different running backs in the, in the, in the great yeah. pantheon of Dallas Cowboy run, running back. Um, what would you consider yourself as a, as an all time <laughs> evil leader? Oh, where would you, where would, what would you compare yourself to as a Dallas Cowboy running back? Eddie, that's a wonderful question, and I'm glad that you've asked me that. Um, and when it comes to evil rulers, they, they still haven't had one as good as me. Take that. Emmett Smith ain't shit. Tony Dorsett ain't shit. The one who just died isn't shit. They're nothing compared to me. It's come to evil. They, they, they should see. I, they, they, Emmett Smith was half a Skeletor. How about that? Half a Skeletor. Okay? And do you know, can I tell you I'm very unimpressed by Emmett Smith's numbers? Do you mind if I share this? My, my very oh, unimpressed okay. because okay. Uh, have, did uh, Cody? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how many career yards Emmett Smith ran for? If you don't mind, if you could, if you could pull that up. Oh sure, I Emmett can Smith's that up. career numbers. Yeah, here it comes. You ready for this? Ready uh, for this? Eighteen thousand three hundred and fifty-five yards. Okay, yeah, that's one tenth of what's inside a man's mother's pussy. <laughs> And I run that motherfucker every day. So there. That's why. I don't I, like they I don't, don't measure like being up to me. For that. I don't <laughs> like being set up for that. They don't measure up to me. Okay. He just gave you a rock. Do you know what my name is? I uh, he really did. He just he he, he it doesn't matter to you, Cody. <laughs> See, it doesn't. That is oh, oh yeah. I wouldn't man. have complied. I'm so sorry to everyone <laughs> if I would have known where that was going. I thought I thought he had some trivia that he was right. going to get into. No, or like, no, no. He just no. gave you it doesn't matter. Can, you know, but can you see it? The big S? You never see it coming. Huh? <laughs> you never see it coming. That's how I know I've been away for too long. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> Cody, and I know you probably didn't want to come back to this, but where can everybody find you? You have to follow that. Yeah, Cinesnob Cody on all socials mm. and um, Cinesnob Podcast. Uh, we're heading into awards slash holiday Ooh. season, so things are going to be heating up over the next six weeks or so. So uh, stay tuned to that. And then towards the beginning of the year, we'll have our top tens for the year. And uh, yeah, if if I may ask you a question, you can tell me if you you could just say no comment if you can't answer because of embargoes or something. Mm -hmm. But 
Which, okay, if you had to pick right now from reading the tea leaves or what you've already seen, what is, what's going to be the bigger, oh man, everybody thought this was Oscar and they fucking blew it. Is it going to be Maestro or Napoleon? If you had to pick between those two, which one is going to be the, this was not what they thought it was. Yeah, uh, my guess is Napoleon. I think no shit. I think it's gonna be. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but from what I'm hearing, it's a little polarizing. Oh. Um, I think a lot of people are l like digging Maestro. Um, I don't. Okay. I don't know what my embargo is. I don't know if I can talk about it, but. Okay. Um, but I think Napoleon might be a little bit more polarizing. That comes out tomorrow, though. Have you seen it yet? You Not yet. Right. Not yet. All right. Oh, man. I'm. But I, but I'm... but we are. We do. Be, we are or should be able to reserve our opinion uh for the three and a half hour director director's cut that's coming out on uh apple later this of year. napoleon yeah oh, oh my god let me get the actual runtime of it uh four oh. hours excuse me four oh, hours we're up there in cut. justice league territory <laughs> wow yeah now oh. do you mind if i if let's say napoleon plays to form mm -hmm. has has anyone had a bigger fall than ridley scott Ooh, I don't know. I mean, has anyone had a bigger plummet off the fuck? I mean, I mean, just wait if like if, if Napoleon stinks, does George Lucas just give him the DX? Suck it? Like, is that what he does? Is he like? And at least I didn't fall that hard. Like, I mean, well, George Lucas sent made four billion dollars selling a franchise. True. So it's true. It's I also hard think to argue with. Really, Scott has made you know some okay, decent movies in the last. Right. I mean, I like The Martian. I think that's a good movie. Oh, that was that's right. That was a good one. That was good. And, and I'm sure that there's guys or direct directors out there who have made nothing but garbage. I, I mean, like it's true. I don't know. I'm sure there's someone out there. I'll have to think about it. But is he the Mike definitely... Shanahan of head coaches? <laughs> mm. Is he the Mike Shanahan of movie directors? Ridley <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Great in Denver, comes to Washington, has like a, a season, and then... <laughs> and then just nothing. Oh, well, we'll see. But go to the CineSnob podcast. Give them a follow. We got to get them on Rotten Tomatoes because Cody clearly keeps dodging the real reason they need to get on Rotten Tomatoes so he can fix a Crocodile Dundee 2 and 3 debacle. Yeah. But I by mean... the way, if we're talking about fallen off directors, um, I, w I just kind of Googled to see if I could... Uh... Yeah you know, jumpstart anything. And, and there's one very apparent one. Oh, who have uh, we forgotten? Francis Ford Coppola. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, God, the Copes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, mm. boy, had a boy. Mm. Did he shine bright? And then God was Apocalypse. Has that move was Dracula that his last good movie. I mean, after God. that, he made Jack the the, the Robin dude, the Williams is a child robot movie uh, adult child. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he made the Rainmaker. Um, which the had the Matchbox terrible. Twenty? The Matchbox Twenty Maker wasn't terrible. But then the Matchbox wasn't that based on the Matchbox Twenty song? Since yeah. then, I bet you've never <laughs> seen his last four movies, which are Youth Without Youth, Nope, Tetro, mm -hmm. Twixt, what? and Twixed. Megalopolis. Twixed. What the fuck? That's his movie. That's the one he funded <laughs> these, himself. These isn't sound it? like video games. It just sounds like you're reading cell phone video games. Yeah, the, like Me Megalopolis is, hasn't actually come out. That is the one he is funding himself, though. Yeah. Cody, it just sounds like you read like cell phone games that you can get on your smartphone. <laughs> Play Megalopolis. Play ad Twixed. free. Or Twixt ad free. Oh, God. Well, there we go. Eddie, where can all the fine folk find you? Uh, five days a week, patreon.com, the Ralph Report. Tuesdays, Fridays, Ramble Radio. Wednesdays, Ramble Proper. Okay. For now? Okay, for now. Until they implode. Until, until they've imploded. I'll tell you where you can find a Megalopolis. <laughs> you bet you're not going to know, huh? Inside E Man's Brother's Pussy. <laughs> there we go. We got two. We, we yeah. saw that one coming. Jesus. You can find me at the same ramble places you can find these fine folk. Also, streaming video games on Twitch and Kick at Retro Rocha and under my name on YouTube. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow for a regular ramble. Until that, oh, Cody, you've missed some good what if. Oh, oh yeah. You've missed some good what if battles. I think the best one so far was Nell Carter versus Esterol. 
where it just With a surprise assist from George Jefferson. It, so basically, <laughs> Carter's about to win, and then she's already got Esther roll down, Cody, and then mm -hmm. the cast of Give Me a Break comes out and then just starts fucking up Esther Roll's lifeless body. Oh, wow. And then the cast of What's Happening comes, to, of Good Times comes to the Good ring. Good Times. And then the cast of What's Happening, you think that's going to help Esther Roll, but then Family Ties comes out. So they're all taking care of each other. And then you hear, we're, we're moving on up. And the pop is just through the roof. George Jefferson comes out, stuns Nell Carter, yeah. <laughs> drapes Esther Roll's unconscious body on top of her, wakes up the ref, and it's one, two, three. It was Wow. It was what a match. It was all oh, what a match. It was epic. It was epic. So we'll see you tomorrow for a regular ramble. Stay safe, everybody. We love you guys. Take care. Bye.